Alright, today I'm going to give you guys a detailed look at this Takara Tomi masterpiece figure, and it is Optimus Prime from the Michael Bay movie. And uh, this is the 10th, 10th anniversary, 10th year uh, Transformer masterpiece series. And uh, it is from Toys R Us. Um, so I'm find this uh, last week before the bankruptcy. So I'm not sure if they're still ordering. Most likely they will, because uh, I heard they're trying to get money so they could open at least till the holiday season so most likely you should be able to find this at Toys R Us so there's the box and there's the back of the box shows uh, this feature is really nice uh, the fact that you could give him the battle mouth and also the regular mouth so all you have to do is lift his head up and then rotate the face mask around and you could have them without the battle mask or uh, or with the battle mask and some other features we have the matrix of leadership right there it's a removable and there's the vehicle mode and there's the robot mode so let's get them out of package all right and here we have optimus prime outside of packaging and here are all the accessories comes with uh, the two blades and the cannon I believe this is from movie 3 I'm not exactly sure uh, there are so many Optimus Prime figures uh, out there so I believe this is from movie 3 I'm not sure because I kind of recognize the weapon or was it 2? I'm not sure hmm. Either way, uh, there there's Optimus Prime. Let's see if I can focus on him a little bit more. Paint job on it is quite nice. Uh, with uh, Takara Tomi, you could always expect a little better than Hasbro. Um, the silver paint is more metallic than what Hasbro gave us, which is just uh, s silver plastic. And uh, two canisters up on the shoulders. Let me see if I can focus in on some of these uh, silver bits here. Let's take a look at that head sculpt. Mm, this is the one with the mouth, which I really like. Because I think uh, all we've been getting before were the battle mask version. And uh, it's nice to have one that's with the mouth. Focus, there we go. And his feet uh, does have metal pieces to support it, which is nice. I believe that center piece is uh, metal, everything else is plastic. Flame decals on them, it's uh, quite nice, really sharp. And the uh, matrix of leadership is, is housed uh, right inside here. So all you, all you have to do, uh, move those two rib cages uh, kind of pieces apart. And then here, this center piece is actually made out of die cast metal, which is nice. And then you just have to flip this piece over. And then in here, there's a flap right there, and you need to flip that down. And once you flip that piece down, there's the matrix of leadership right there, and it is removable, which is nice. And here is the back of Optimus Prime. Quite nice. I'm very happy with this one because uh, there's not a whole lot of junk uh, sticking out from the back of uh, Optimus Prime here. Clearly see there isn't a, a backpack or anything that's... Uh, sticking out which kind of annoys me uh, especially the one from uh, most current movie that one has a huge backpack sticking out uh, which is very very unpleasant to look at and as far as range motion uh, you can see the hips are on ratcheting joint uh, same as the same as the knees they're all on ratcheting joints and uh, great range uh, you could go a little over 90 degrees uh, knees also go a little little over 90 degrees 
ankles uh, it could bend back quite a bit but not really forward because this piece uh, this die cast piece does impede with the articulation quite a bit so his, uh, his foot could bend back quite a lot and you can see here he could bend all the way back but forward if I you can see how it's stuck almost at that position right there because the front piece is sticking I mean it's uh, it's blocking and as for the waist uh, there's a little bit of movement but not a whole lot it's more from the transformation and then um, the elbows see over 90 degrees and then shoulders full range and then the head it could tilt back quite a bit because of the uh, of the of the transformation but uh, as far as forward and rotation uh, not a whole lot because uh, it is being blocked by the um, the design of uh, this Optimus Prime here and this is what I really like uh, when you flip up the head and then you can flip the face up as well and then here you can see that oop, that part is the mouth head and that size the battle mass so you just need to rotate this piece around and then and then whoop, and then close this close him back and there's optimus prime with his uh, battle mask on and to attach the blades uh, all you have to do is uh, move the hand around over a little bit and there's a slot right there and you just need to slide this in here and uh, over here I have one that's all put together right there you can see slot through and that's it for the for the blade all right and here's Optimus Prime in vehicle mode looks great uh, but I wasn't able to fit everything in together nicely uh, there's still a gap underneath the, the windshield here and then uh, there's a little gap here uh, just couldn't fit everything in nicely I'm sure if I mess with it a little longer I should be able to do that but uh, for now I mean yeah it's not fitting perfectly but there he is and then uh, I notice he has a lot of flames on on this vehicle mode here and the flames back here and the flames on the side, up here, and then the front as well. And uh, let me give you guys a front view, front view of the vehicle. There's the Autobot logo. Then there's the top. Here you can see there's a huge gap underneath there. Not sure why I can't put it together properly, but uh, yeah, now. That's how it's gonna be. Um, there's the back. Would have been nice if he comes with a, a trailer, but uh, doesn't. So that's unfortunate. There's the back of the vehicle, and you can see there are openings on the side here. Right there, you clearly see there's an opening, and then also if you look at them from sideways, you can see there's a giant hole right there. I'm not sure what's going on. Uh, could uh, use a little piece of something to cover that up, but uh, but it doesn't have something like that. So there's hey, there's the vehicle, and here's a comparison between. Optimus Prime and Bumblebee. And there's the top view. The two vehicles. And back down to a side view. And here's an angle view of the two vehicles. And these are both by Takartomi. And I have to say I really enjoy messing with uh, Bumblebee here. It's a great vehicle. It's, it's got a great vehicle mode and also a great robot mode and transformation wasn't hard at all 
I was able to do it the first try, but I still used the instruction. Uh, Optimus Primes was a little harder, uh, but still overall it's a, it's a fun process. Uh, I still have to look at the instruction because I don't want to risk breaking it. And I, I do remember having the other uh, Optimus Prime as well, and I think the original version from uh, Hasbro is a little bit bigger. I want to say that Optimus Prime is a little bit bigger. Not quite sure, but it felt a little bigger than this one. So overall, it's a great, great vehicle and a great robot mode. And uh, it has a great vehicle mode and it has a, a really impressive uh, robot mode. So I highly recommend this thing. It's going to set you back about 100 bucks at Toys R Us. Initially, when I first saw the price, I was... I was a little taken back by it because uh, 100 is quite high for a transformer. But I realized uh, this I, uh, Bumblebee was almost uh, it was like 80 bucks or so. So 20 bucks more for Optimus Prime wasn't that bad. And um, it is by Takara Tomy. Uh, it's I'm not even sure whether this is a Toys R Us exclusive because it doesn't have a sticker on it. Bumblebee has a sticker on it that's uh, exclusive to Toys R Us, but this one doesn't, so not sure, but that's the only place I found it. And uh, yeah, again, I bought it last week, wasn't this week, and then, so hopefully you guys could uh, find them at Toys R Us. But uh, yeah, there you go. Thanks for watching. Oh, and at the end of this video, I'll post some photos of uh, Optimus Prime in action. So there you go. Thanks for watching.